Those vegan guys. Thank you. Well, good morning, beautiful people. And this is um, a, what a beautiful day to start a new journey. June the 1st. Now, June is a very um, uh, important month for uh, both me and Jason. June the 17th is my birthday and this year I will be 51 uh, years old and um, June the 19th two days later is mine and Jason's anniversary our anniversary of getting together as a couple and our wedding anniversary we got married on that day um, so uh, this year we have been together um, well, we've been married 11 years. We got married in 2009. So we've been married 11 years and we were together for 12 years before that. 23 years. Anyway, what's the, what's the point? Oh, yeah, no, I'm all right. I thought the, the mic might have busted again then, but it hasn't. Um, so, what's this vlog about today? Well, it's about kicking my own ass and getting myself back on the health uh, wagon. If you saw yesterday's live, you will have seen that uh, Jason and I went out for a bike ride. And I could just tell from how difficult it was to do that bike ride that uh, I am so out of condition. Uh, now I've done this twice before. Insert picture of my side by side from the first time I did this. Now insert quadruple picture from the second time I did this. It seems to be in kind of five year intervals, which is strange. So I got really fit and healthy just before I got married, which was just before my 40th. And then I got really fit and healthy again about five years ago. And then since then I've been okay, you know, kind of. Um, but this last six months, uh, really has been really really difficult it's been difficult to get motivated and in particular we're in lockdown at the moment obviously everyone's in lockdown um, and so we're eating more and we're doing less and uh, it's going to majorly affect all of our healths if we don't get things sorted so there are already a few recipes on this channel that I'm going to be focusing on over the next few weeks um, there is the uh, the sweet potato roti I'll put that up there up there Paul that means that little eye click it and all the videos that I'm talking about will will um, show up so there's that uh, there is the oil free uh, ranch salad dressing which is gorgeous and I'll link that up there as well uh, and there is uh, what else have I done recently that was really good and low fat oh um, the no added oil hummus not oil free because it's got tahini in it but no added oil hummus uh, is up there and of course it would be remiss of me to not link uh, the video of us making the black bean and pineapple stew from Hench Herbivore's cookbook half price during lockdown I'm not getting commission it's just a really good book um, and I'll link our recipe video up there which then has details uh, about the book I'm also going to link in this video um, and I'll tell you why in a second uh, my lovely friend Lauren in Ireland has uh, made a vlog this morning by request of what we can plant at this time of year to start using all these pots in our garden and actually you know uh, try and yield some fruits and vegetables I'm going to link Lauren's vlog up there because it's been massively helpful this morning and the reason I'm mentioning that is that that is going to be one of my ways of keeping myself distracted from sitting on my ass and watching too much YouTube um, and uh, basically you know eating too much I need things to do so this this gardening is going to be part of what um, I'm going to do uh, in fact 
me just give me a second I think I might be able to just do this with the camera Excuse me. there are my pots there all my empty pots got some off my mum this morning and my little shelving unit um, and due to uh, Warren's vlog Due to Lauren's vlog this morning, I've ordered a load of seeds from um, uh, Amazon because they were cheap and uh, they were Amazon choice and uh, they look good. Uh, so go, go watch the video to find out what you can grow and it'll be fun for uh, Lauren to guide us all along as we try to grow things in our pots. So this is going to be a vlog of course when I get the compost and the seeds come we'll do the planting uh, but today cleaning up this area, tidying it up and getting it ready for that process is going to be what I'm going to do to distract myself and to and to stay active so normally and i'm going to be really honest with you after i get out of bed in the morning i put on my scrags i get up i have breakfast this morning it was like it is most mornings uh it's either a crumpet or a bagel this morning it was a crumpet with flora light spread um chopped strawberries and blueberries fresh and uh, half a slice of wholemeal toast with blackcurrant jam on uh, had one bite of the toast and gave it to Jason um, so I'm, I'm already doing that switch in my head which I've had to do before whereby if we have a pizza he has slightly over the halfway mark I have slightly under the halfway mark and much more salad it's just about those little things now I love vegetables and fruit and salads I love eating healthy and yet I still use, and I know I do, I use too much oil and oil and sugar are the enemies here. Um, so let's get on a journey together where we share tips with each other, try to find healthier ways to eat the things we love, support each other sharing healthier recipes. And uh, yeah, you know, so yeah, this morning I had my breakfast and then I've had a, I've had a wash and a shave, and I've put on my outdoor shorts, outdoor shorts, Karen, and an outdoor vest, and a lovely pair of sunglasses. And I'm going to get on with tidying up this area. And then I need to uh, think about dinner now. It's always important to plan ahead. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight yet but I've got plenty of salad and fresh vegetables and it will be something healthy I've bought, I know people will frown on this but we all have our own ways of doing things um, I've bought some Pepsi Max it's vegan, I know it's got a terrible sweetener in it but it tastes like full fat Pepsi I have a friend called Bradley who lost loads of weight eating healthy and his favourite drink was always Pepsi Max. He got me into it. Anyway, I've bought a load and that needs to counteract the... Because we've been drinking wine every night and saying, oh, we're, let's just have a bottle tonight. We'll sort it tomorrow. Or, no, we'll do it Monday. Monday we'll do it. Oh, oh, always putting it off. We had wine last night. Tonight we are not having wine. We're having a healthy dinner. For tomorrow's dinner, even though it's hot weather, it doesn't matter. I want to make my um, brown lentil shepherd's pie with potato and sweet potato top. So I need to soak my brown lentils today, ready for cooking tomorrow uh, and using. That's the planning ahead thing. And uh, if I, um, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do, here's what I'll do. By the way, I'm having slim fast today for lunch. Um, I bought two bags when it was on sale, it's there. I'm gonna use it. I add frozen berries to the berry one, and I add frozen banana to the mint choc one, um, because the ice, and the, it makes it more substantial, and it thickens it up lovely. 
So I am going to be having slim fast, but I'm going to be having very healthy dinners. So what I'll do is, on tomorrow's vlog, when I show you what a great job I've done of cleaning up this area here, and we talk about what we're going to do with it, um, I will tell you what we had for dinner tonight. Yeah. And I will try to vlog my food intake uh, because I want to hold myself to account and I want you to be accountable for you all of us that are struggling with weight issues at the moment we have one pair of hands and these hands put food into this mouth your hands put food into your mouth nobody else does it's just about It's about wanting better for ourselves, I suppose, isn't it? That's what it boils down to. It's like, I am I'm not happy. I am not happy with this excess weight. I am not happy with it. It does not make me feel good. It does not make me feel attractive to my husband. It does not make me want to look in a mirror. All of those are negatives. Why have I not done something about this sooner? Okay, I can use excuses because lockdown came and the vegan queens lost all the work and I got a bit depressed and blah, 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 blah. So how is getting fat helping, Paul? It's not. It's making it worse. I can do better. I can be so much better and so can you. That's the point. That's why I'm doing this. You got my back, girl. I got your back. I'm gonna call you out of a sea in a chocolate digestive when you're not supposed to be. You know what I mean? And I need you to call me out too. The trick is not to give people the opportunity to call you out. Just see, just see, do you understand? <laughs> um, so yeah, beautiful vlog in the garden. Um, you know what we're having for dinner tomorrow night. I will tell you in tomorrow's vlog what we had for dinner tonight i'm having slim fast for lunch for sure i'll show you this tomorrow let's do this we got this we got this i got you you got me together we can make it be something isn't it right thank you very much for watching i do love y'all right lords um oh do you like by the way my dantana i've called them my dantana sunglasses they remind me of dantana and if you don't know who dantana is where were you in the 70s when the hottest detective on television was on our screens i love you be excellent to yourself and each other <laughs>